Comment tu fais Je fais bien. Tu, tu paraissais pas mal confiant. Oui, oui, mais garde, Charles, c'est que moi, je, je, avant de prendre des décisions importantes, je prends toujours du temps pour réfléchir. Hein? Puis après que j'ai pris ma décision, je suis à l'aise avec. Tu sais, puis je la partage avec les gens. Mmh. Tu sais. Euh, Qu'est-ce qui arrive? Qu'est-ce qui arrive? Je parle avec Yvon, Yvon Godin oui. la semaine passée. Oui, il était comme il, il, il est comme il dit. <rire> il dit qu'il y avait tout le monde veut au moins deux sièges, deux députés du NDP. Oui. Mais not in my backyard. Il faut que ça vienne à chaque pas d'autre. Ah oui? Comprends-tu ce que je veux dire? Là, il ne il voulait pas s'en s'en mêler. Il voulait un député du NDP. Oui. Mais pas leur. Puis, Qui ça là? Euh, C'est comme euh, il disait que tout le monde dit qu'il voulait deux députés du de NDP. Oui, oui, je comprends. Mais, il ne voulait pas voter mais, pour mais eux. Il voulait, il voulait ça vient. Ah, la, la réalité sociale et économique au Nouveau-Brunswick est difficile. Mais les circonscriptions sont beaucoup dépendantes des subventions du gouvernement. C'est d'avoir un député du côté du pouvoir pour les gens, il amène de l'argent de la circonscription. Ouais. Mais ça, c'est vieillot, c'est dépassé. T'sais, au Nouveau-Brunswick, moi je me dis, une famille qui vit à, à Gagetown, qui vit à Lamec ou qui vit à Edmundston ou à, à Sussex, elle a le droit de vivre, qu'elle soit du côté du gouvernement, qu'elle soit du côté du pouvoir. Mais c'est les libéraux et les conservateurs qui ont installé cette vieille façon de faire là. Euh, C'était de créer des inégalités. Si tu ne votes pas du côté du pouvoir, tu es, es fall bas, tu n'es pas bon. So, uh, je te remercie de m'appeler un journaliste. Ça, ça, ça c'était drôle. Mais electoral <laughs> reform, we need that. We need electoral we need, reform. We need it. And like I said, you know, the, the traditional parties uh, who have the best chance to form a government in New Brunswick, they talk about it uh, um, one week after the election and after they forget it for the rest of the four years. And that's not correct, you know, because uh, I think for them, democracy stops uh, at their uh, political party, you know. Right now, for, if we look at the results of the last provincial election, 60,000 people did not vote liberals and conservatives. No one to represent them. And if we look at uh, some MLAs at the legislature, uh, was elected with less than two or around 2,000 votes, and they have a seat at the legislature. You know? And I think this election, the NDP deserved to have like three, four, five seats, the Green Party one or two, uh, and uh, I think that really reflects uh, the way New Brunswickers voted on September 27th. Which title do you listen more to people, being a, a wannabe politician, a leader, or a priest? There's a good question. Oh, like I said, you know, um, um, I, I, everything I did in life... You've been listening a lot, you. <laughs> yeah, I listen a lot, and uh, I think... I, I, will, I will never forget when I was a priest, and I will never forget my, my time I was involved in politics, because, you know, uh, my, my devise or my slogan is, everything you don't give is lost forever. Everything you don't give is lost forever. That's yeah, good. Yeah, because with my Christian values, I don't need big things. Keep, keep life simple. And uh, if I have uh, facilities, abilities on this and that, I just uh, or fight for social justice or th those people who are in need. And I have, th I think, some abilities uh, about that. And all the exper experience I gained until now, uh, I have a future plan. But everywhere I will be, if something is wrong, I will stand and say it's wrong. Yes. And uh, if it's right, I'll say if it, it's right. And, and you sound very happy. You sound very at ease. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I, 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 and like I said also a while ago, is uh, um, before I take a major decision for my life, I take time. When I quit priesthood, I take two full months. Yeah. I was in Quebec. Nobody knew oh where I God. was. Oh, my God. My God was in <laughs> I and uh, <laughs> and um, and uh, after I take paid, a decision, you know. no, I, 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 I want to pass to something else. The You're going to go to Spain for politics. You're going to go to Spain next year. And next year, yeah, it's uh, it's something I bought euro, 
when the when the, the rate was good, affordable to buy some euro, and I prepared that uh, that experience for the last five years. And next year will be the opportunity to to do the pilgrim of Saint Jacques de Compostelle. You know, it's a pilgrim that begins like, so uh, like at, the, at the 12th century. And in 2010, people from around the world, 200,000 people did the pilgrim. They walked between 8 and 1,200 kilometers in a month or a month and a half. And I want to do it. And I think it's good when you have important decision for your life to be with yourself and to walk uh, in the nature with the with the, the sheep and the mountains yeah. and uh, just like the Mecca, that's what they call the Mecca march, what they call it the Muslim, something like that. No, 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 it's it's Christian. Christian, but I mean something about the Muslim, that's what they did. They, they do. Uh, where, where did they go? Oh, again? they go at La Mecca, La Mecca. They, because in the, in their faith, I think they they have to go in, in La Mecca is their center, yeah. uh, spiritual center yeah. of the world yeah. in Arabi Saudi. Yeah, yeah, somewhere. And they, in their life, they have to go there uh, once. Uh, but yeah. for me, uh, I, it's, I hear a lot about uh, Saint Jacques de Compostelle, and I. Are you uh, gonna go? And, oh yeah, I want to go. I have. Uh, yeah. Roger, listen. I known you for two or three years. I, I, I would have loved you to be in there. You would have been a great. Uh, yeah. Deputy, you're a good listener. You've been going all over the place. I feel bad for you because uh, you, my God, you went. You fought hard. Yeah. And I wish you the very best. And really, I mean that. Thank you very much. Sure. Merci. Thank you.